my name is Brian Kotcher with Robin Lentz Productions, and today we have a funny guest today. We have the Christian comedian, Mr. Willie Brown. I know you've heard of him. I know you've seen him on the internet. He's here everywhere, making people laugh all throughout the world. Well, Mr. Willie Brown, my name is Brian Kotcher. I am a producer, songwriter, rapper, spokesperson, speaker, all that fun stuff. And my fun thing to do is improv. I love to get up and talk in front of people and just make a fool of myself. But anyway, I was introduced to Vibes Live with Robin Lynn when there was about 12,000 viewers. And today, there's about 200,000 plus viewers. Enough about that, Willie Brown. Welcome to Robin Lynn's Productions. Orele, Willie Brown, what's up? Two fingers up to you, Holmes. Hey, I'm the host of this show. I want to let you know we give a great show to these people all across the world every single day, Holmes. And I'm glad you're right here. We can't wait to see your comedy act, day eh? Because it's going to be funny. We got people laughing and rolling on the floor and just smacking and doing all that fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, welcome, Orele, doggy. Hey, I want to say something to this, Mr. Willie Brown. He better not be coming over trying to put the moves on my woman. That's Robin Lay, you know what I'm saying? He better treat her nice, you know what I'm saying? You come on here with respect, you know what I'm saying? You show everybody what we got, what we want. If we all cool like that, you come here, we can't wait to see your, your comedy act because it's going to be funny. We're going to be laughing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody over here, my grandkids and everybody here, I'm eight years old, but I still go ahead and get my laugh on with this Willie Brown. So let's go ahead and roll some film, yo. Grandpa Kutcher, man, what I tell you about going on there and getting crazy, man? I I told you to tone it down. Anyway, let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Willie Brown. Here's a story from Fusion.net. 
You're going to love this one. A gun shop is raising money for Orlando victims by raffling off an AR-15 rifle. Yes, you heard me right. I'm Suzanne D, and you are listening to Newsbeat Radio. In the aftermath of the Orlando massacre, many Americans have responded to a shocking act of hateful violence with dignity and compassion. And then there's this. A Chicago-area gun shop that plans to raffle an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle to benefit the victims of the shooting at the Pulse nightclub. The instinct to help a community reeling from tragedy is a noble one, but the cutting irony of promoting a high-powered rifle similar to that used by the Orlando shooter seemed lost on the McHenry, Illinois gun shop. For our industry, this isn't weird, Second Amendment Sports co-owner Bert Erslinger Jr. said. It's a normal product. It's bought every day by Americans across the United States. It's a sentiment echoed at a recent gun show in Mineola, Florida, the first in the Orlando area since the shooting. There on the admissions table, Fusion's Peter Moscovich saw organizers soliciting donations, quote, to help the Orlando victims of ISIS terrorism, unquote. According to the shop, Second Amendment Sports will make a $2,000 donation to the One Orlando Fund, augmented by the sale of $5 raffle tickets for the AR-15. The drawing will take place on July 31st, with the winner still required to possess or fill out the requisite federal paperwork, as well as abide by a 24-hour waiting period, Ursulinger Jr. said. Second Amendment Sports was inundated with angry messages on its Facebook page. One commenter wrote, What's next, Second Amendment? Raffling off bombs to support the victims in Istanbul? Sick. Early Thursday afternoon, the gun shop tweeted sympathy for the victims of the Pulse nightclub shooting. Really? This is not the first time Second Amendment Sports has caused controversy in its suburban community. In 2015, McHenry residents raised concerns over the shop's proximity to a local school. This your boy, Young Major, man, coming straight out of Memphis, Tennessee, and you are listening to Vibe Live Radio. Shout out to Robin Land. Thanks for keeping the vibes live. Hey, honey. Bocce. Yeah. Bocce. You got to botch this game. (laughs) Shoot. Tell you what, super low key, I'm finna win. All right. Really? Uh Uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on, kick, kick, come on, come on, come on, come on, boom. About time all y'all pay your ten, chance of the game, say it again. Abraham had many, many sons, many sons had many, many sins. Save them then, trying to sit y'all at the table then. Abraham had many sons, one son had none, but he hung that ten to get in. Pick up bit six, let's commence. Then, expect what's next. There's a handful of bones to the left with a six to connect. But this is the West and we play to win. What up? Head so big like a stadium. And I don't even know what to say to him. But six, 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 how the game begin. That got him on a domino effect. Honoring his brother and his father, but he's following the check. At age 15, he was six foot three with a dream. Play six, three, like fit in, shit in. Chest out, already working on his first house. Nigga, he the best out. Don't be cheating. Pride don't fleek, don't speak to him unless it's about extra O's and O's. Oh, 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 oh my God, I can't stop chasing, chasing, chasing the green again. A rap race for the vegetables, don't ask him to see, cause he really don't knock, he gon' connect them dots. He on one gassing up like Texaco, when it's about time all y'all pay your ten. Chance to the game, say it again. You ain't scoring no more. Abraham had many, many sons, many sons had many, many sins. Save them then, trying to sit y'all at the table then. Abraham had many sons, one son had none, but he hung that ten to get in. Vanity is a family business. Vanity is a family business. Vanity is a family business. Vanity is a family. Vanity is a family. Vanity is a family business. 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 If it only takes ten to get in, but let me get in then. Run it back, let the game begin. Sick of money makes a man, and man plays his hand, and man money and hand is always in tandem. So the plan is to always have money in hand and make more money. Cause it's who I am The ego on me is the money I have in my hand I am that I am Get it? 
I learned to be a man from my dad. Get what you get with the gift of gab. You gotta get that cash whenever you can. So I follow that taxi cab. Born center, remember when I used to eat bones for dinner. Now I'm looking for a spot in the middle of dots. Trying to get enough bread to rise to the top. But I'm knocking on a chopping block with no options. Connecting dots to collect those checks off of X and O's. But how you get rid of the dots on your soul when you live in the valley of dry bones? It's after mathematics I pay to play. And played in a way that was way too much to pay. And prayed for the sun to be paid by the sun who was hung. And he washed the board and took them dots away. About time all y'all pay your ten. Chant to the gang, say it again. Abraham had many, many sons, many sons had many, many sins. Save them then. Trying to sit y'all at the table then. Abraham had many sons, one son had none, but he hung that ten to get I'm in. to preach at least to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me. My desire to compete with the Messiah's need to be Jehovah Jireh is the same game we play on repeat, repeat, repeat. It starts with stack cheese, starts with a little game plan. A monopoly, the monopoly is obsolete. And then the stocks are dropping, you start to lean into your own understanding like Socrates until you stop believing in the prophecy. And then it starts to lead into insanity. You're gambling with vanity, you can't achieve. Even with the richest man in the history of the planet sees, it's haunting you like Amity. I'm rambling, I'm living in the land of greed and ooh, 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 ooh. The seeds of the lilies in the field is the peace To know they are clothed in a robe that is sown by the one true king One true king, but it ain't Ralph though It ain't Ralph though, it ain't Ralph though When it's the outro, the king of the castle Hit a jackpot, try and pay those bills Chasing the wind, try and pay those bills Chasing the wind like Pecos Bill First in the hearse with the curse of the lasso Oh, 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 oh my god I can't stop Chasing, 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 waiting. Yeah. Oh, that was a good play, though. Uh huh. I'm practicing. I'm sitting. Am I behind or am I ahead? I mean, you're ahead. Oh, with five, three O's. Five. With them O O O O O's. Yeah. yeah. Yup. It's about time. <laughs> Look. Look, they don't know how many times. Okay. <laughs> this is the first time for all I care. Cause it is. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm they say hold on, Dominic.
the bedroom Just tell me when I won't come too soon Don't tell nobody I'll do the same Tiptoeing in the bedroom That'll be our thing I know your man He don't treat you right Stay gone all day Stay gone all night When your love come down And your body get hot Just call TD I come Johnny on the spot Just let me tiptoe In the bedroom Just tell me when I won't come too soon Don't tell nobody I'll do the same And tiptoeing in the bedroom That'll be our thing In the middle of the day That'll be all right In the afternoon Or late at night When you need my loving Just tell me when Open up the door And I'll ease on in Just let me tiptoe In the bedroom Tell me when I won't come too soon Don't tell nobody I'll do the same Tiptoeing in the bedroom That'll be our thing Your sweet loving Really turns me on I can't stay away, girl I can't leave you alone Ow! Just let me tiptoe In the bedroom Just tell me when I won't come too soon Don't tell nobody I'll do the same Tiptoeing in the bedroom Gotta be our thing Let me tiptoe Oh baby Let me tiptoe when in the bedroom. Just tell me 